In this video, we're talking about how to solve a system of linear equations when the system of equation includes variables with subscripts. In this system, we have two unknowns. We have bt sub d, or btd, and we have t sub d, or td. What we want to do is be able to solve for both of these values. And what I want to show you is that this is really no different than a system of equations without subscripts. In fact, if you wanted to, you could rename these. You could say that bt sub d is going to be equal to a. So for example, let's say, b t sub d is going to be equal to a, and let's say that t sub d, t sub d is going to be equal to b. If that were the case, you could go ahead and rewrite these equations. b t sub d would give you a, and then you'd say plus we have 5 t sub d, so 5 times t sub d, which we know is b, and that's going to be equal to 25. For the second equation here, we have b t sub d, which we're going to call a for now, and then we have minus 5 times t sub d. We know t sub d is b, and then we have equals 15, so equals 15. So you could go ahead and write the equations this way and then solve for a and b if it's easier for you to look at the equations with something simpler, or you could just go ahead and solve them with these unknowns with the subscripts already in there. So let's go ahead and leave the subscripts in there for practice. The way we can do this is add these two equations together. The reason we want to add is because we can see right away that we have a 5t sub d and a negative 5t sub d. So if we add them, we'll get the t sub d to go away. Those will cancel and we'll just be left with bt sub d and we'll be able to solve for that. So when we add, we'll get bt sub d plus bt sub d is 2bt sub d. 5t sub d plus a negative 5t sub d is like 5 minus 5, that's 0, that's going to cancel. And then we have 25 plus 15, which is going to be equal to 40. If we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we're going to get bt sub d is equal to 20. Now that we have a value for bt sub d, 20, we can go ahead and plug that back into our first equation. So bt sub d is equal to 20, we'll get 20, and then we have plus 5t sub d is equal to 25. Subtracting 20 from both sides, we'll get 5t sub d is equal to 5. Dividing both sides by 5, we get t sub d is equal to 1. Now we've solved for both unknowns, but just to double check ourselves, we want to plug both of these back into the second equation to make sure that we get a value that checks out. So we say bt sub d is 20, so we plug that in here for bt sub d, we get 20 minus 5 times t sub d, which we know is 1, is equal to 15, equal to 15. Simplifying, we get 20 minus 5 equals 15, or 15 is equal to 15. And because this checks out, we know that these two values satisfy the second equation as well. So the values b t sub d equals 20 and t sub d equals 1 satisfy this system of linear equations.